Hey guys, welcome to my channel where I am desperately, desperately <laughs> trying to get a film out. I have had Murphy's Law all week, so 27th time is a charm, right? Okay, so this is the Hey Boo paper pack from Decorate Your Life. And I want you to know that I went to two different stores to get the... The paints here to match up well I made a mistake but happy mistakes are um, common in the junk journal world I wound up getting pre-mixed pouring paint which was metallic silver um, and it worked out to my advantage because I pre-mixed it with drizzle gray black and um, matte white and got this real pretty gray color and then I went over it with um, a wash, a varnish, a varnish mixed with this to get that real pretty metallic look to it. And I'll probably give it a second coat, not tonight, letting it all dry. And then I went over it with my own mixed pink. This was the pink pouring paint with roseberry and matte white all mixed up to get that beautiful pink color. It looks darker. See if I can squeeze it up there without making another major mistake. It looks darker than what it is, but it goes on. And let me tell you, I don't know that I could be more pleased with my my uh, turnout because look at that. It matches that pink really well. So better in real life than on camera. So there we go. And then this is the cover. I'll do a flip through. I'm only going to do the first six pages because the second six pages are a repeat of the first six. So over here on this side, I took, um, she always sends a picture that says decorate your life across here. And there's always like, let me show you. This comes from a different set, but there's always something across the middle like that that that's here that I just I cut out kept the top piece and the bottom piece and then I glued it in to the front so um, we have a little pocket here okay so let's start Gotta be careful I've been getting pain on me forever okay so here's page one page two page three page four five and then six okay and then it just starts all over with the second set okay so before I put this cover on because it's gonna be heavy I am gonna go I know I'm really close but I'm gonna go over this with either cloth or washi tape just to give that a, a stronger foundation because this piece it's going to get glued to that front and then whoops I'm telling you that's the sort of thing that's been going on for me all week and then this piece goes on the front right and then flip it over and move that case there's wet paint on it flip it over and then my pumpkin potato chip here look at how curved how warped it is i don't know if you can see but it's pretty warped I'm going to put it on the back relatively even with this guy up front and then I'm going to put the clamps on this guy to get that to, to stay down and then I'm just going to paint this whole thing the silvery gray and then the back of it will be the pink like the front. And then that back, blah, blah, back pumpkin will be silvery gray like the front, okay? And then I was trying to find something that I could put on the front here. And so um, I haven't had any luck yet. I was thinking about this guy. Um, 
scanning and cutting him out on and putting him on there. And then I thought this guy, but I need I need something kind of long like that. So it's probably going to be the one I just showed you. He'd look okay on there too, but he's just too short. You know what I mean? Like. I suppose I could center him. I suppose I could center him. I might try centering him on there. Yeah. Okay, we'll give that a shot. I mean, I'm just going to photocopy anyhow, or print, copy, replicate, and then Mod Podge it on there, and then I'm going to give everything a good clear coat. So it's shiny and the paint sticks and we don't have any troubles in the future because bless my heart, y'all, I see problems in my future because I just have not had any good luck. Okay, so before it gets any later, I think I should probably um, get moving here and get something else accomplish. Now I do want to do I think I enrolled 20 yards of pink lace y'all. I'm not kidding. I do want to do um, yeah looking for a pair of scissors. Here we go. I do want to do a little this guy. You'll see what I'm talking about. This guy up here. Hopefully he'll fit. But he'll go on or in. It'll be like that. See? It'll just be a little topper. It'll fit on there after it's done. But I want to do that after all of the painting's done because like I said, Murphy's Law, y'all. Ooh, and you know what else I could do? If I do the little Nomi, then I could probably, oh, oh, I'm thinking here, look. Yep. I'm thinking that I could get that on there. That would be cute to go around the, the edge. Why not? Well, why not? I think I will do that. Ooh. You guys, it's a thing. It's going to happen. It's going to be. I'm going to do it. Just for the middle. I don't think it would look too good on the... I don't even think I have enough for all three. Yeah, just on the middle. Just on the middle. All right. So, that's what's next. And then this one's finished. Um, other than probably putting some stuff on the inside, memory keeping. And I don't know that I'll get to that ASAP, but it will happen. I'll get a notion one of these days and we'll get going on it. Um, but that's where it stands for now. And um, again, I appreciate you guys for watching and for sticking around.